the Igniting Souls Conference has always taken place in Columbus, Ohio. Today it's taking place all over the world. So on October 23rd, we have the Author Elite Awards and we have the uh, uh, basically uh, multi-day conference happening on that Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to take you right to my screen <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, share with you these incredible speakers. In fact, these are such good speakers. I've hired some of them, okay, for my upcoming launch. They're that good. And then I said, you know what? Can you also hook up our attendees? Can you help them? The new speakers are Paul Dunn is the founder of B1G1. This guy is a philanthropist. I always thought it'd be cool to be a philanthropist. I just never had enough money. You know what I'm saying? But here's the lie that people believe. I want to tell you this, folks. The lie that people believe is that you have to have a ton of wealth to, um, to, to give. And that's a lie. And I'll tell you what. I once knew a person that said, oh, I'll give, um, I'll give money when I have money. That's a lie. That's what the enemy wants you to believe. The enemy says, well, once you make millions and millions and millions, then you can start being charitable. It's never going to happen for you if you're not charitable. Charitable happens in your heart. Okay, this, the, the book I love, my favorite book, tells uh, about the widow who gave all she had. It's called The Widow's Might. And I see a lie with with some entrepreneurs. I'm just going to speak to you here. And I'm going to stop my screen for a moment because i got to speak to you folks. If you don't catch this, you'll buy into poverty your entire, entire life. I'm just saying, just to check this out. Full disclosure, I was not a giving person growing up because I didn't have much. Okay? So I wasn't one of these people who has the spiritual gift of, of um, generosity. I just, I just wasn't. I, I was a poor kid who didn't have a lot, so I didn't think, you know, what can I give other people? Then I met and married my wife, Kelly. That woman is a giver. Okay? I, she's not watching now. You can tell her I talked about her later. But, but she is a giver. This is the, this is the woman who um, gave a prom dress Instead of having one for, of her own, she gave it to a, a girl in her school who needed it. I mean, that type of person, you know? She didn't come from a lot either, but she was a giver. And she stretched me in the beginning. Like, I'll be straight up here. Our marriage struggled a little bit in the beginning. because She was kept giving, giving, giving. And I'm like, we don't even have much. <laughs> you know? I remember at a young age, we went to... Um, uh, the, we, we lived in a country church, small country church called Tyosa, Tyosa Brethren Church. I mean, we're talking many, many years ago. And she said, we need to give, we need to give to people. And again, I was on a pastor's salary working another job just to make ends meet, first year of marriage. And I'm, I remember going out and buying a lot of stuff to give to people. That's how Kelly is. So she's kind of stretched me in that area. And all I'm saying is that whether you have a little or whether you have a lot, you have to think about generosity. You have to think about abundance because if you keep focusing on all the stuff you don't have, that's the vibe you give off. Generous people attract generous people. Is this true? Type in the word true if this is true. I'm just telling you. Why do you think Amber and I are um, are connecting with each other and and helping each other because she's generous and, and I try to be generous in business. It wasn't until I became generous in business that, that I believe that the blessings came. So all I'm saying, folks, is be mindful of that, okay? All right, let me go back now because my friend, I got really angry at him at one point. I'm not going to tell you his name, but he said, Oh, I'm going to be generous once I have things. And I'm thinking, dude, it's never going to happen. So Paul is uh, a philanthropist. He's the founder and chairman of B1G1. Justin Donald just got off the phone with him. This dude, now listen, that's a big statement. That's a big statement. 
the investment world's next Warren Buffett. That's a pretty big statement, but that's a good magazine. And anyway, he's going to be speaking all about lifestyle investing. Because here's the thing, folks. We think, well, I can't think about philanthropy until I have a lot of money. Lie. I can't think about investing until I have a money. Lie. Folks, you got to start now. You got to start thinking about these things now. Otherwise, your life goes by. And you think, well, oh my gosh, the last 30 years went by and I didn't even think about that. You got to think about it now. So we're literally getting these things in front of you. By the way, lots of you are uh, unhackable coaches. I see unhackable hope and unhackable harmony. If you have an unhackable website, go ahead, put it in. I want to promote you. If you're one of our certified coaches, speakers, and trainers, these unhackable websites have been snatched up. We now know that I think there's over 150 of them or something like that. People are buying unhackable moms, unhackable dads and hackable hope i even saw travis now has that as his instagram unhackable life or something i don't even know anyway let's keep going amber amber is speaking at conference i said you can't just help me you got to help my friends so she's speaking at the vip day this is some of you might want to think about upgrading you got the general admission ticket and listen we're putting so much value in this thing, we don't even have enough slots. So go to the schedule, and you know we start the goodness on Thursday. And then Friday, all morning, these new speakers are coming. Why? Because we already filled up the entire conference with other amazing things. Okay? So I'm just telling you, get your upgrade going if you need to come to the VIP. But even if you come to the general... Man, it is going to be amazing, okay? By the way, Brenda Hare, I don't even know the VIP upgrade. I wasn't planning on coming talking about everything today. If you can share that, or Erica, if you can ask Amanda, because I know some people are saying, I want to I wanna be in that room. Yeah, you do. You want to be in that room with Paul. You want to be in that room with Justin. You want to be in that room with Amber one of our secret weapons for the book launch. She got me thinking a lot bigger. Let me just say that. And then Amber's business partner, Isaac. This dude, besides looking like Brett Favre, come on, doesn't he look like a younger version of Brett Favre? Don't tell him I said that, but I'm from Wisconsin, so I just thought of that this morning. But this dude, this dude is smart. We've been on calls together, Amber, Isaac, and I, and I'm like, oh my gosh, the tribe needs to hear this magic. This guy knows what it is to do strategy. And so he, it was his idea to say, look, you got to get B1G1 involved. And I said, yeah, we do. So again, I am not thinking of all the smart ideas at all. Um, it's the team. And that's why I'm bringing these people on. Wait, is that five? One, two, three, four, and then five. By the way, look at this. Unhackable websites. Unhackable websites. I'm telling you, folks, this is blowing up. Brenda Hare, can you put in the link for the uh, upgrade for people so they get Tom and Amber and all those people? All right, Tom Dean. Some of you in Fire Ring, you heard him share the other day. Was this dude on fire or what? Oh, my gosh. He was the vice president of Zondervan and HarperCollins Marketing. No wonder I got some special forces going on here. Anyway, Tom is now part of our team. He's also helping coach Author Academy Elite. That's coming in the future. Wait till you hear that. But anyway, he, he knows relationships. He's got strategic partners. It is amazing. He's connected me with the PR firm that I'm going to be using. The guy knows contacts. Anyway, he's a guy you want to know. He's a guy what you want to hear, and he's coming in now speaking at the conference. All these people are just doing it because they believe in you. By the way, there's the upgrade. Get it. Uh, if you have a general admission ticket, get the upgrade because, again, every speaker I just mentioned, we don't have room for them on, on Saturday and Sunday. Man, we had those speakers picked months ago, and I just said, you got to meet Tom. You got to meet Amber. You got to meet Mike, Mike Canings. You got to meet all these people and so they they are literally changing their schedules 
just because they say, I heard about the tribe, I gotta be, I gotta talk to the tribe. 